إن الله نعم الوكيل إن الله لا ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم Let's renew our shahadat أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم سلم Now we start on a very strong foundation We start with the most important thing Everything that we're doing It must support that shahadat Every talk Every action Whatever you're thinking Whatever you want to think or you want to do It has to bring more meaning and more understanding That you're saying that you are bearing witness, there is no Lord, there is no Ilah, except for Allah. He is not coming to make you to understand your Lord's greatness, then you're in trouble. And every action that you're doing, if it is not taking from the light of the Holy Prophet wasalam, so that your action, your thoughts, your deeds, your intentions, your words, if it's not saying Muhammad Rasulullah Meaning if it's not Sunnah Then you're in big trouble Thinking you're following your Lord But you're following your Lord according to your ego Again This is important We cannot deviate And the Awliya Allah they have come To open the way to make it easier for us Especially in this Ahir Zaman To make it easier for us To follow that It is not to cover it And those who are awake They're going to say These are the things that makes you to become drunk And these are the things that makes you to wake up When you are discovering something It is an unveiling you don't take it from outside It is something that is already there from the inside And you just open it It is an unveiling, you understand? Meaning that it is always there But you have to remove You have to remove those things that are covering it If you are not understanding and you are holding on tightly to what is covering this Then it will always be covered even if it is coming from Allah It will always be covered So if you are not concentrating on what covers this haq if you're not concentrating on the batil The batil Of your nafs The batil of this dunya If you're not concentrating and looking how to remove this The haq that is there Will just be covered, it will just be completely dark You're not going to discover nothing You may claim Tonight We're remembering Sultan al that he had lived his life and he had passed and he's being veiled from this world, he is unveiled to those ones who are already with their Lord. He is unveiled to those ones who are with their Lord. We're remembering him More that he is being veiled from this world, more the we should be veiled from this world. Not to look at him being veiled from this world, and now is the time for us to be more busy with this dunya. To be more pulled into this dunya. No. To get more veiled from this life, and to be unveiled more to that one. Now, how are you going to do that? Look to see. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Like this or like that, Osman Lidarga. With their blessings. We had a wedding. Hmm. Check yourself now. I'm checking myself. Like I said in the Sohbat before, that wedding is for what? It is to glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is to glorify the Holy Prophet. It is to glorify our Shaykh and our ancestors, the Ottomans. If it is not because of that, it has no meaning. Completely has no meaning. It has meaning because now we're following that tradition. And the way 
that our Shaykh is saying, now follow that. This is how you have to do it. What happens when we do that? We feel their presence. That time it becomes a worship. That time it becomes from the activity, it becomes a presence that is coming. It becomes a hadra. We did that. We were at the wedding. But not a single second passed in that wedding. Maybe I'm speaking for myself. And then I'm saying this is for you. This is all for you. I wish I was gone and you are here. That's teaching us now this world, even when it is the very best, it really has no more taste because they are past. And they can give us this whole world, but we would, if there is a chance, they say, open this door from this side, we'll leave everything and join them because their presence is all that matters. If we are feeling that, then we have taken something from what their lives are because they have lived this life but always their heart is with Allah that when there is a chance for them to leave and to be with Allah after the work is finished that's where they are they have finished their job we haven't finished our job is our heart happy? no, it cannot be it cannot be even the best things that's happening to us, we're not happy because we're still separated from them. They have been unveiled. We are the ones right now here. We are still veiled from them. They are around us. They are with us, definitely. But once we start aiming for their presence and aiming to be with them, Slowly, yes, you start maturing in this way. You start giving up from things. But so many of you, you're still stuck. Forget about giving up from the good. You cannot even give up from the bad. Some, they cannot even give up from uh, fighting. Some, from cursing. Some, from being angry. Being, who are you being angry with? You're being angry with the enemies of Allah? No, you're angry with each other, subhanAllah. All the months they're entering and you cannot. This is when you see. So that means that you have no understanding of yourself. You're not testing yourself. But you look to yourself like you're an angel. Some trying to look at me, presenting themselves to be like that. I may smile from time to time. But how seriously are you taking yourself? How seriously are you watching that your enemy that is inside, it can just come out? If you are serious, yes, people make mistakes. They run and they fix it after they make that mistake. They run to fix it. They don't just make mistake and they leave it like that. Tom, if you're making mistake and pretend as if it's nothing there, who is going to clean up for you? Then what kind of progress you're making now? What kind of progress? Are you running to fix it? Now you're going to know that kind of progress you're going to make. Running to fix it. Some, they're so proud, they make a mess, they even turn their faces. They don't even say, sorry. Or if they say, say I said sorry, just like that. What do you want me to do? Beg you? Say, oh Allah, Allah, you're not begging me. You don't even have to say it. But have some shame for your Lord. Our father, Hazrat Adam, he spent 300 years begging his Lord and crying non-stop. Ah. So now it is showing where your heart is. So you're not running to fix it. Most people don't believe they even make any mistakes. And if there is a chance to cover it, they say, I cover it, I didn't make anything. So now what kind of progress are we going to make? How are you going to make? When you're not even aware you must be. Otherwise, this place is not going to be so welcoming to people who are like that. You cannot be. 
You're going to find yourself very tight, and one day, yes, you're going to go. It's okay, go. You don't want to fix yourself. You don't want to change. You must go. If you stay, you're just going to suffer, that's all. But we are here to catch our ego, to chain it, and to put it under our feet. That is our Sheikh's legacy. That is our Grand Sheikh's legacy. If you don't catch that, forget about being with Mahdi alayhi salam. You're going to be with Dajjal. Because Dajjal's people are everyone. Doesn't matter who you call yourself now. Muslim, Christian, Jewish, Murid. Doesn't matter what you call yourself now. But all his followers, their egos are completely wild and free. There is no law, there is no chain, there is no shariat. Those who are keeping themselves tight now, do you know that that is what Hazrat Mahdi is going to be, to put that chain around Dajjal's neck. Uh, so you're not looking at yourself. Before, they, they have such high hopes. Uh, I'm going to fight Dajjal. Are you fighting against your own Dajjal? Against your own ego? No, you're not. There's an opportunity. You open up and you see, oh, what a big beast it is. You're not catching that? No way. Doesn't matter what you do. You will lose later on. So, their legacy is not contained in building on the outside or this. It is contained with you knowing yourself and being able to step in your ego and being able to know what is haq and what is battle. I feel so much pain. Is that haq? The pain you're holding on to? The pain that you're feeling? So many people, they have so much pain and I'm looking at their lives and said, uh, pain is not real. You're making it to yourself. Yes, there is some, but you're opening the volume so high that you don't hear nothing at all. You don't even hear or you see the favors of your Lord that you cannot deny because you turn it up so high. You're blind to everything else. Then Some, they turn up the volume of other people, not them. So high, you don't even see what kind of mess that you are in. Uh, we should wake up in these days. This is the month of planting. Before you plant, get rid of the weeds. Before you plant, till the soil. Before you plant, put the fertilizer. Don't just plant. If you're planting, you're putting the seed on a soil that is not tilled, is not fertilized, the seed will die. First, clean yourself up to know, I have this mistake, I have this. I did this today, I did this yesterday, I did this last week, to this one, this one, this one. I did this to my Lord. He's giving me so much and I'm 24 hours complaining about something that I can't really change. I just have to be patient with, crying nonstop. You want something to cry, especially for believers and murids? You want something to cry? It's so easy. Should not be. So clean everything up. Then it is better. You can plant. That time it will grow. That time when Ramazan comes, you are going to be experiencing some air, some breeze of paradise. But this is work. Islam is work. Tasawuf is work. If you think you're just going to sit there and someone is going to blow secrets on you, think again. Uh, look at how much work the Sahabi Kiram went through. Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, our peer. Can anyone claim that he did not do any work? Terrible. Look at our holy prophet, look at the Ahlil Bayt, how much work they have to go through. Eh, it is not so that they clean themselves, they are already clean. But it is to show us, you're going to walk in this way. You're claiming you love the prophet. The prophet says, prepare yourself for hardship.
what hardship we're getting these days. Hmm. What? How many of us can claim we have hardship? Eh. Little bit test here and there. It's coming. It's going. Alhamdulillah. One day we're going to be very far away from every problem. Everything is going to be finished. One day we're going to leave this world. One day we are going to be veiled from this world. And everything else will be unveiled to us. As Maulana Rumi is saying, still waiting. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? As Maulana Rumi is saying, if you only understand the love and the mercy of your Lord, if you only understand how much you're complaining in this dunya over all your problems, if you only understand the time that you will understand is when you wake up from your grave. In that time when you understand you're going to wake up from your grave dancing. Where am you read to Sahib al and the Sultan al Awliya? Shukur. Just to be able to hear their names, just to be able to know their names. These are the names that Allah and His prophets and the angels they are repeating. Just to know their names is such a big blessing for us. Billions don't know His name. Whichever of the favors of your Lord can you deny? Are you turning this up from time to time? Are you turning this up from time to time that it drowns out every other voice? Every other sound, every other concern, you just open this to say, Ya Rabbi, shukur that I know Sahib will say, shukur Ya Rabbi, that you're overwhelmed by this. How many of you are doing it? But you know to turn it up when it's a little matter of the dunya here and there, huh? Don't. Be fair to your Lord. You understand? And when you remember His mercy, the difficulty that you're going through, it is so easy. It is such a small thing that it is too small for him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to remove even. He will send one of his servants to say, remove that. Because that doesn't even exist in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's majesty and beauty and generosity. We are believers. Wake up, start to believe. Don't only believe when you want to believe, when you're comfortable to believe, when there's nothing going on, but when there's difficulty, you don't believe. You're supposed to believe when there is that difficulty especially. Allah is watching. May Allah forgive me. May Allah raise the station of Sultan al and Sahib al-Saif, inshallah. May Allah bless you and keep us in the way of haqq. Dunya and Ahirat with them. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al-Fatiha.